this NSP short, Ottawa Mission CEO Peter Tilley shares his views on the difference between a job and a calling in finding fulfillment in life. So I knew then that uh, now it was a calling. And I, I, I knew then that uh, everything was focused on the people we were serving. And it, reporting to a board can be tough. You've got uh, 12 different bosses. I now have 15. I have a great board now. We're in harmony. But back then they weren't. And sometimes some, I've had some years here at the mission where the board wasn't in harmony. And, and there's that reminder of let's focus on why we're here and the people we're here to serve. But politics gets involved. Board members who lost one battle come back with a heat on for the next battle. Right. And it's like, no, put it behind you. The board voted in this direction and they voted against what you proposed and uh, suck it up and uh, come back to the table for the next board meeting. Some can't. Some are, no, no, I lost that last battle. I'm, uh, the politics get involved, Chris. And it hurts me to see that. So, uh, so other than that, though, it was the calling was the feature that I focused on and helped serve me that we were there to care for the poor. And, um, and, and that always was my focus. And, and also the staff team, uh, the volunteers who came into the organization, but most importantly, always the clients who would use the food bank or the services of the Ottawa mission has always been my focus. I was fortunate to be mentored by uh, Bruce Firestone, the founder of the Ottawa senators for a year. He agreed to do that and meet with me, uh, just a part of my growth when I took over the position at the board, they said, you know, this is a new position for mm-hmm. you, a higher level. Uh, when I took over my position at the food bank, I mean, when that uh, we'd like you to have a mentor and somebody recommended Dr. Bruce Firestone is actually an engineer by trade okay. and uh, taught at Ottawa U business. And uh, he mentored me a couple of times a month. We'd meet twice a month. Uh, for three hours and he was great and I remember him once I went on a course of his once uh, on advanced business modeling which was a great course for somebody setting up an organization like the uh, food bank and he said are are you looking for a J-O-B job are you in it for a job or are you in it for a career or a calling because if you're in it for the former then you should get out and go find a career or a calling because if you're in it for a paycheck, then then you're in the wrong field. And I always remembered that. I thought, yeah, I'm fortunate I have a career or a calling. And uh, that's I advise anybody who's young and graduating, oh, this will give me a good pension in 15 or 20. You know, if you're going in the military or the civil service, get in there to serve your country as the best damn civil servant that you can. And if you're in a bureaucratic mess and quagmire, then do what it takes to make change. And I'm sure you've seen it all those years in the military. Uh, uh, okay, then be a good soldier, get promoted and make change. And that and, and same with being in the charitable sector. Are, are you just uh, doing it for the right reasons or the wrong reasons? I, very fortunate, I find most of the people here are doing it for the right reasons. Obviously, you wouldn't be here unless you were doing it for the right reasons. And same with the food bank. I'm spoiled. 